I don't know if you've ever seen Star Trek in your life. If you have, there's um, there's a way that in Star Trek, the TV show and the movies, where they make food through, like, the computer. So, like, oh, Captain yeah. Picard will say Earl Grey tea, and all of a sudden Earl Grey tea shows up in this little device, and he pulls it out and he drinks it. So the computer makes it, right? Well, yeah, kind of, it almost looks like a microwave uh, to me, the way it's set up. Right, at mm-hmm. least in some of the older Star Treks that I've seen, and they just kind of pull it out of there. I guess it's becoming reality. It is reality, not the same way that you see it on Star Trek. But there's a 3D printer now that can make a uh, fish fillet. Oh no, mm-hmm. fish is weird anyway. Mm-hmm. Like fish, I gotta, I gotta be real like confident in my restaurant before I'm gonna order fish. <laughs> I'm not getting it out of a 3d printer i'm not doing it listen the one that they just did it's a grouper off a 3d printer that you can literally eat it flakes it tastes it melts inside your mouth just like a fish would but how this is what i don't understand because i'm not a tech person at all so what's it actually made out of it's not actual fish (laughs) i don't i couldn't tell you like, is it paper? Is it silly putty? Yeah, oh, is yeah. It- it's silly putty and paper mixed together to make your grouper. Oh, it's delish. They've done this oh. with steak, too. You know, I. this is weird, but I could probably take the steak better than I could take the fish, and I don't know why. But I really don't well, want either one. Evidently, Liz is not a fish person. I am. I love fish. But I'm telling you, if it smells gamey, if it smells a little, I'm out. 